after the medical examiner arrived, we all proceeded back into the location where uh, we were told the body was. Walking the jury through the crime scene of the Christian Bahena Rivera murder trial today, the jury hears testimony about the day Molly Tibbetts' body was found. The courtroom also heard more from the investigators who first questioned Bahena Rivera. KCCI's Chris Gosner was there for all of it. He's live now in Davenport where the first week of the trial just wrapped up. Stephen Stacy, jurors saw some very graphic photos containing Molly Tibbetts' body as one of the state's crime scene investigators testified to what she saw at the cornfield where Molly's body was found. Now, many photos were far too graphic to be aired on TV. The day began with continued cross-examination, though picked up from yesterday, of Spanish-speaking Iowa City police officer Pamela Romero, who defense attorney Jennifer Fries continued to press on whether Bahena Rivera was worn out by 11 hours of interrogation, implying a possible false confession. Meanwhile, two crime scene investigators took the stand today, as we mentioned, where those photos were shared. One of them testified to the description and placement of Molly Tibbetts' body and clothes. She discussed blood evidence found in Bahena Rivera's trunk. Defense attorneys tried to raise the specter of cross-contamination. However, during the prosecution's redirect, one of the DCI criminalists dismissed that notion. Would you have had any item in your possession uh, that would have either purposely or inadvertently been placed in the Malibu that would have had Molly Tibbetts' blood on it? No. All, all of the um, doors and the trunk were sealed at the Powashi County Sally Port before we left. You and did you did that sealing, is that correct? Yes, I did. All right, and when the, the uh, car arrived at the... Um, at the lab, uh, were those seals still in place? Yes, they were, and it was documented by the person who received the car. Now, this trial may well go another week and some change. At the outset, expectations were for a trial that would last up to 10 days. We'll have more from this final day of testimony before the weekend coming up on KCCI 8 News at 6. Chris, something happened today that could have derailed this trial. Yeah, this could have been a big problem. The designated still photographer for the day took pictures of jurors, and which of course is expressly prohibited. A juror did notice that photographer taking pictures though and informed the judge. It turned out that that photographer was from the Daily Iowan, which is the student newspaper of the University of Iowa, saying her editor told her that it was okay to take photos of the jury and actually wanted photos of the jury. Judge Joel Yates was obviously not very happy about that. He seized the camera and banned the Daily Iowan from the trial. However, he did say that this was a young person who made a big mistake and did not dole out any further punishments. The key here is that none of those photos were published or disseminated. Steve. All right, Chris Gothner, live in Davenport for us at the Bahena Rivera murder trial. Thank you very much. Well, KCCI, in the person of Chris Gothner, has been in Davenport covering this trial all week long. We'll be back on Monday when testimony resumes. Now, you can continue watching the proceedings live at KCCI.com and on our free KCCI mobile app. To download that app, just scan the QR code that's on your screen right now. You can also turn on alerts on your phone to receive breaking news updates from the trial.